in order to get back your classic, you know, classic, not that it's classic, it's new as of like 2011. Uh, so in order to get back the previous UI, first thing you want to do is download all these stupid files. These are all actual archives, but they're in a proprietary Steam format. So you can see I tried to open one with WinRAR because to, to, it didn't make any fucking sense. Uh, you can't do that. These, these are the actual files. There's, you don't need to extract anything after you extract this package. So there's a link in the description that goes to Mega that'll download all 27 of these files at the same time. Uh, just extract the, the archive into a folder like I did. And then there's also another link that contains a Steam executable and a manifest file. And then you need those files as well. So the first thing you want to do is go into your Steam folder. Um, I think I closed it on accident while I was messing with shit. Uh, so it's going to be program files 66 Steam into the package folder. You want to delete everything that's in here. Literally everything. Um, I had files in mine and I deleted them. So then the uh, step two really step three I guess is extract this entire this entire archive folder here. Oops. Um, move all these files over into the I don't know why I pressed copy. Um, move all these files into that directory. And so then it, you're going to want to grab all these files as well. Move these over into the same directory. And you actually need to set um, the manifest and the Win32 file to read only so that Steam doesn't overwrite them when you connect. Uh, the reason steam.cfg here matters is if you open it up in a text editor you want to make sure that bootstrapper for self update is disabled if it's enabled then as soon as you connect to steam it's going to download all the modern UI files and overwrite everything that you've done Um, and then you also uh, want to check the rest of your Steam folder. If you have a steam.cfg file there already, delete it. You can see I don't have one. This this is on another computer because um, I don't game on this computer. As you can see, I'm connected by a remote desktop connection. This is a, an old computer I have that I use as a server. So it, it should be this simple. We're, we're testing this out here because I've never tried it because I have no interest in changing back to the old UI. Uh, basically at that point, then you want to open up Steam. This should fail. I don't know how long this is going to take. I think I, I fucked up a step here. Fuck yourself. I don't have my Steam Authenticator on my Steam app up to date because I changed phone numbers and it's, it's just a needless pain in the ass to actually switch it. So I'm not going to bother. Uh, bah, 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 what email address does this go to? Not this one.
Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this isn't going to work. Because, uh, like I said, I, I took this from another YouTuber. I'm pretty sure their instructions are wrong. This looks kind of new to me. Uh, well, I don't know. The UI did have these colors before. Actually, no, this is the old. Yeah, so, okay, so it works. Cool. Um, so, I mean, that's really all you need to do. Uh, then also, and then you can see it has to download all these fucking images again. So, like, if you had custom images set as your thumbnails in grid view, you're going to have to download every single one of those again. It's not going to save them. Um, it does, though, seem to save stuff that you had added. Maybe these are, well, no, yeah, these aren't the right, these aren't the images, because I, I had all mine replaced. Uh, so yeah, so then you want to exit Steam. I would go back into that packages folder. And then also um, copy paste the steam.cfg file just into the main directory. just to make sure that it, it doesn't screw with anything. And that's about it. So, like I said, the download links to all those files, only for the Windows version, are, are in the uh, description. I'm not going to bother explaining this for Linux, because I honestly don't care about you if you use Linux. Like, more power to you, but I'm not messing with that. You can go to the, the source video for it.